Hi, this is uh, Joseph from South Carolina, and I have a 1999 Chevrolet Suburban two-wheel drive 5.7 liter. Uh, I've had this truck for about 20 years, not quite, but getting closer there. And you can see that I've got a lot of miles on this baby, uh, 260,779 miles. I have rebuilt the motor, and uh, at about 220 miles, 1,000 miles is when I rebuilt it. So she's been a great truck, but I've got a problem that I need some help with, and I'm, I'm making this video for anybody out there who has experienced the same problem with any of your GM trucks from 96 to 99 or even onward. Uh, basically what's happening is uh, sometimes my engine cuts off, and it won't allow me to restart, and it's giving me a passcode error um, fault code. Uh, other times it gives me a... a, a crankshaft sensor failure and all that kind of stuff. I get multiple electronic failures. Uh, so I originally thought it might have been my ignition switch, which I already replaced about three years ago, uh, and it might be bad again. I don't know. But basically what happens is uh, whenever I use my turn signals, my voltage will drop from 14 down to about 12 at times, and, and in some cases, even when I'm driving down the road, it will shut off. So I tell you what, without, without gabbing you too much to death, let me go ahead and... Um, and um, start the engine up and I'll show you what it's doing. Alright, so I'm going to turn the key. I'm going to check my security light to make sure that, because sometimes the security light will just flash. So I was thinking it might might be the, uh, what, what they call that, the anti-theft module. But Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start it up. Alright, so the motor starts. You can see everything's working good. I don't think there's a way I can shut the light off. Okay, I got the light off, and so now you can actually see what my gauges are doing. So you can see that my, uh, oh, by the way, you can see my gas gauge vibrating. That's what's called the hummingbird, ne <laughs> hummingbird needle. But everything seems to work fine. Now, watch what happens. Uh, uh, in fact, I'll even turn the headlights on. You can see my headlights are on. That's the low beam. There's my high beam, and there's very, very little drop. I'm going to turn the hazard lights on. And you see it dropping? And then it goes back up. Now, you see how it paused that time? Now, there's another pause. Another pause. You can see the voltage dropping. Now, watch what it does when I use my turn signals. And I'm going to focus just on the uh, voltage gauge. left turn signal you can see it flashing faster than what it usually does now with the left turn signal on I'm gonna match the brakes and I'm looking out my mirror and you can actually see the 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 left turn signal light flashing but it doesn't seem to be as bright as it usually is except on the front alright so I'm gonna hit the brakes brake lights are on left turn signal in the rear is flashing and there's there's a minor drop now I'm gonna uh, there's more so we're down to about 13 volts all right I'm gonna let off the brakes and return it back to normal and you see the voltage go back up now I'm gonna use the right turn signal and it drops down from 14 till about 13 now I'm gonna mash the brakes and it's also blinking faster than usual I've already already replaced the uh, the signal uh, the, the turn signal flasher now this may not look bad but there are a lot of times, especially when it's warmer outside, right now it's about 60, 66 degrees, so it's not that bad. It's a little cooler, but I notice when it gets up to about 80 degrees, that drop becomes really, really bad, almost down to below 12 volts, and it shuts my motor down. So I'm going to go back to the left turn signal. And again, blinking fast, I'm going to turn the hazard lights back on. You see more? See how it's dropping even more? But it'll actually get worse than that. Okay, one other thing I'm going to show you is uh, my key. Well, get some light on here. There's my key. I noticed that uh, my key, uh, that's why I pulled the cover off this gets really hot whenever it does that the whole thing 
And so I was thinking that maybe my ignition switch uh, could be bad. Not necessarily the lock cylinder, but the actual switch assembly itself. Now I replaced this, this switch, ignition switch, four years ago when, when it failed on me and I lost my transmission control. I only had low, low two and low three. That was the only two speeds I had and it gave me about 12 fault codes. I knew then and there that it was my ignition switch. So I replaced it. Well, now I'm having the same problem. Uh, I'm having a different problem, but this time my my switch is my switch gets hot. Right now I don't feel it getting hot. It doesn't seem to be as uh, shorted out. And as I indicated, this seems to be. It seems to be more prevalent, or noticeable whenever it's hot outside. So the the warmer it is and the more humid it is. In fact, uh, one day it was so humid right after Hurricane Michael uh, came through here that it wouldn't even let me start the truck up. The security light was flashing, uh, and it went into anti-theft mode. I took a hair dryer to basically you know, dry it off on the inside, and then it worked. Uh, so I'm at a loss, guys. I mean, it, this is all pointing to multiple possibilities. It could it be a bad ground. I checked the ground wire from the cable, uh, from the battery to the engine, and that seemed to be good. I checked the, uh, the, the, um, the ground wires, or what they call the... Uh, uh, I forgot the frayed um, straps, the ground straps that goes from the from the um, from the back side of the engine block to the frame, and then also from the frame to the body. While it looked old and corroded, I did an Ohm's test on it, and it still checked good. I uh, I didn't I didn't feel any noticeable heat other than what was coming from the exhaust system. I also checked the ground wire on the back left side underneath the gas tank. Uh, I believe that one's the one that controls the fuel pump. That brings me to my last point. I noticed today that while I was driving, the more gas I gave it, the more voltage drop there was. But the biggest drop comes whenever I use my turn signal. So we'll do it again. Left turn signal, again flashing really fast. And while it's not dropping as much as it did this afternoon, it actually dropped down till about 11 volts and that's when the engine shut off. It took me 30 minutes before I was able to restart my, my engine. The last point about that is when when I am in, you know, when I when it, when it when it does shut the motor down, I notice that the the entire cluster goes offline, no fuel, no odometer, or nothing. Whereas, you know, if I were to uh, shut the engine off and turn the key on, at least there you see everything working. But whenever I lose the engine, everything on the dashboard goes off. So, here's my question. If anybody has had this problem, please, 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 for the love of God, share your solutions. Because I'm going online and I'm finding a lot of people are, are having the, pretty much the exact same uh, problems that I'm, that I'm showing you, but they're not sharing what they fixed. They're not sharing what they've done. And I think I did read one case where it says uh, he replaced a ground wire that was on the, uh, next to the gas tank. Well, I checked mine. And it's good. I even did an Ohm's test on it, and it's good. Other than the fact that it looks a little old, it's still good. I checked it from the frame to the wire and then the wire itself. So it's got great continuity with very little uh, resistance. Um, but everybody else that I've seen, in fact, I found a couple of people that had the exact same symptoms as I do, but then all of a sudden you don't hear anything from them, no follow-up. And so if anybody has experienced this, I'd really like your inputs on this because this, this is becoming frustrating now. I've, I've spent probably about two weeks now trying to troubleshoot this problem and I haven't been able to find it. So, is it a bad ground wire? Is it a bad body control module? Is it a bad ignition switch? Is it a bad turn signal switch, which would be the switch uh, lever on the left hand side? Uh, or, am I, uh, is it the uh, anti-theft module? Now, I want to show you this as well. With the engine shut off, I'm going to use my turn signal, left turn. You see a minor drop, but notice how, notice that the uh, turn signal is, is operating at uh, normal speed. Tick, 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 tick. There's the right turn signal. So you can see with the, with the engine shut off, it's working like it's supposed to. Now watch what happens when I start the motor. it sped up it's almost like there's a sudden burst of amperage going through the ignition system now I do have a 140 amp amplifier uh, alternator on here
kind of kind of looks like that the right turn signals are not as bright as the uh, left ones are. Here, I'll show it to you. Here's the left. Yeah, oh, there it is. Here's the left. Now there's the right. Yeah, the rights are working, but it just doesn't seem to be as bright. Left, right. Yeah, I guess they're about the same. And I'm going to... Uh, there's what the engine off. Now the turn signals are working exactly like they're supposed to. So, any help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, leave your results in the comment section. <laughs> help, guys. Needing it because I can't figure this one out. So long.